morning YouTube I'm out in the garden just checking things out today and I'm walking along the first row that I planted and I'm super excited look at those tequila sunrise peppers I can't wait till they ripen and they turn their beautiful orange color there's lots of tomatoes coming on lots of blooms I just thought I'd walk you around a little bit and let you see what's going on. There's some babies hidden in there. And babies here. babies lots of blooms the Kentucky wonders are starting to vine the Amish paste are starting to put out their tomatoes Some of these tomato plants have got it going on for sure. And I wanted to show you the peppers that the uh, slugs decimated are making a comeback. That little banana pepper there is coming back. That one's surviving. That little bitty one's okay. This one's still struggling, but it's starting to green up, so it might be all right. Same with this one and this one. That's one of the ones that I replanted. That's a emerald giant bell pepper. I replaced the Marconi with it. And that one, I mean, it's still struggling, but it's there. And then this little banana pepper here is it's, it's trying. So I'm leaving them. I'm still using the slug juice. I'm still getting slugs. I had bought a case of beer at um, Sam's, but I'm hoping that'll be the last time because I really don't like buying the beer. I'd really rather just put my money into a, a, a three or four Indian runner ducks and let them take care of things around here. And we shall see. But so far, the garden is doing well. Got some zinnias coming up back there by the gas tank. I've got some more started in the house. Zach zinnias. <laughs> They're not really Zach's, but every time I hear zinnias, I think of Zach Stivers. Because he loves zinnias. And sporting my new, newest t-shirt. Stivers Homestead. Nice shirt, guys. Favorite thing is the soil. I love it. I totally love it. If y'all don't know who the Stivers are, Jen and Zach and their two kids, Wyatt and Raylan, go check their channel out at the Stivers Homestead. You will not be disappointed. I subbed them when they were, I think they were even under 100 subs or just over 100 subs. And man sakes alive, they've blown up. But they're real personable, super friendly, great folks. So you'll see why. Go to sub them. Stivers Family Homestead. I'm just tickled the, the beans are putting off. The peas are growing. Amara's peas are growing back there. <coughs> the lupa's doing okay. The yellow vernissage, the squash, all that's doing well. I think there was one little squash that may have a little bit of uh, end blossom rot. 
I'm not sure. It may just be part of the skin, but I'm gonna gonna be researching a little bit more on that because I sure don't want to lose a bunch of squash. But you can see right down in there that it's got something, something going on, and it may just be part of it. I'm not sure. I'll find out. But the other ones are looking good. So. I hear the delivery truck coming up the drive. So we're fixing to get that lumber. That was my check sheet to make sure they bring everything I ordered uh, flopping around in front of the camera. But we're going to get our lumber and get our project started. Woo! Y'all see this junky area? That's my puppy play yard. And it's fixing to get a transformation. You see this plastic I've laid down? I got a load of decking coming. Fixing to put a 14 by 20 uh, wood deck back here. Husband wanted to do concrete and a roof over it, but you know, $15,000 is a little bit much. And I'm just as happy to have a patio back here. Uh, well, deck rather, not, not even concrete because concrete's so expensive right now. But we're going to transform this puppy yard into a nice little sitting area that's going to overlook Mimsy's garden. Want to give a shout out to Miss Carolyn Privet. That's Chris at Single Dad Homestead's mom. She's a faithful viewer for me. And I wanted to say hi, Miss Carol. We're gonna be those, um, how did we say it? Protective mama heifers. You and I are gonna have to get us a t-shirt just for that. I think uh, I'll take my design that we did for Chris. Chris's uh, secret. I'm gonna say secret since he's not revealed it yet, uh, shirt. And then uh, tweak it out a little bit just for you and I. And then if anybody else wants to order his shirt once it's revealed, then I will tweak it up for them. Okay, so I'm headed to town. Got to run those few errands. So I'm going to go get a few extra things and take care of the two patient crew. Then I'm coming back to the garden. Y'all don't forget about the stivers. Go check them out, Stivers Homestead on YouTube.